Hey everyone, it's me Robert and today I'm reviewing Uncanny X-Force version of Deathlock. Now I already have a regular Deathlock, um, you know, I uh, really just, again, this figure I got a deal on, I really just got it because he's Deathlock, man. I mean, I always really liked Deathlock. Deathlock was in one of my favorite comics as a kid. I've talked about it a few times, uh, Marvel 2 and 1, and... Uh, you know, it, it was a cool, cool comic, um, and it really it was the first time I ever seen John Byrne art, and it really struck me that opening panel where it had the thing around the corner, where it had Deathlock around the corner and the thing walking down the hall, light and dark. I mean, it just hit me even as a little kid. So, yeah, Deathlock just ha made an impression on me right away. So, yeah, I mean, he just always had a special place in my in my thought process and in my collection so I saw this one it was a great deal I said yeah I'll, I'll grab him so yeah I bought this one for several reasons uh, for no, more than just being a Deathlock fan uh, another, another reason was um, the one I got was incomplete he was missing his pistol his rifle he only had the uh, uh, minigun and you know I the other reason so when I bought that one that one was super cheap that's why I got it. Uh, when I got this one, I was thinking, yeah, okay, so this one has the rest of the accessories. So if I want to display Deathlock in red, I can use these accessories with Deathlock, and he looks uh, complete again. I mean, it's not a perfect situation, but it's not terrible either. Me, I, I mean, I'm, you know, I'll do that from time to time. Uh, I've thought about, because, you know, these weapons are, and I'll get to that with accessories, but these weapons aren't super duper cool or anything but um you know they're not terrible either uh Mar <laughs> yeah hasbro's done worse with uh guns on characters so yeah that's a given but with this one i mean it was just yeah i mean i could look like i have a complete one i can fake it so i decided i might fake it <laughs> that's what she said so yeah, here's Deathlock out of the back package uh, with his accessories. He's got this sort of ray gun pistol. He's got this double barreled, I don't know, kind of gun. I'm going to guess it's a shotgun, but it's very futuristic. Could be a blaster of some kind. Uh, yeah, it's kind of cool and kind of weird at the same time. Um... He's got this minigun, of course, and he's got these, uh, this ammo belt. Uh, this one's a little weird. It's translucent. Um, that's kind of odd, and I'm almost certain that the uh, red version of Deathlock doesn't have a translucent uh, ammo belt. I'll have to double check and see, but I'm, I'm thinking he doesn't. So yeah, and here's the figure. Um, overall, I like it. He looks pretty good. Um, <laughs> you know, he's gray for X-Force, which is weird because he's not a mutant. He's a cyborg. So, yeah, what you doing running around X-Force? Uh, just because you're a badass? Well, probably. And there we go. A better look at the face. Um, <laughs> yeah, a face only a mother could love. Uh, <laughs> Deathlock's origins have been retconned so much over the years. It's really hard to tell which one this is. Um, and I, I'll tell you, Teresa, I forget. <laughs> There's been, on uh, the bare minimum, three to three or four iterations of Deathlock, and each one, the origin has just tweaked a bit. But uh, he still looks cool. I mean, and keep in mind, he's kind of the original Terminator coming from the future to prevent a war in the past. So that's kind of cool. Um, I dig him though. I mean, he, he looks really awesome and yeah, what can I say? He looks really awesome. Now, something you need to note is he does have double jointed arms, but his bulk, and I never understand this in Marvel figures. This happens a lot. The bulk is so great on the bicep. It really only goes to where a single joint can go. So there is that, and I'm going to be honest, I don't like the way the pistol sits in the, it's not even really a holster, it's just sort of like a <laughs> side, a thigh strap, and 
you know, the scope on it goes into the holster, which to me is weird because, you know, I, instantly I think it's going to get caught and then be a problem. I know, little nitpicks, but I mean, again, there are things that are very noticeable, and that's one of the things I didn't like about the pistol in the first place. So when I bought the red Deathlock, um, I didn't really care that he didn't have the pistol. Okay, so this may sound weird to some people, but I'm going to freely admit I'm not a huge fan of the minigun. It's awkward. Uh, it's really hard to fit in his hand. Uh, get him get him to get a, that trigger hand around it. It's, it's just really hard to get in there. And I'm not a big fan of this ammo belt either. It's just weird looking. Um, I mean, it looks like a badass weapon, yeah. But, again, that ammo belt. And, and I mean at least the front does spin I mean that works just fine but overall I just you know it's awkward I also wish they had put some place on his back that he could put his shotgun while he has the minigun that would be a, that would have been a cool add on at least so yeah several knocks in that area with the gun it just eh. it, and it feels and looks kind of cheap um, kind of looks like a dollar store ripoff. I mean, if he didn't have any other weapons, that would be a problem. I mean, that was my problem with the red one. I didn't have many of the weapons, but I did have the minigun. I did re-outfit him with some other guns, but still, you know, I, um, uh, I see some issues with this one. Uh, you know, just might be me. I don't know, but, you know, I do see some issues with, uh, this minigun. But even with a couple of knocks like that, I gotta say, you know, this Deathlock, like the previous one, is a very well balanced figure. Um, you know, you can get him into some pretty good poses, like so, without having, you know, a uh, figure stand for him. And you know, I do like that. I mean, I like figures that can stand on their own. That that's always helpful in a display case, in a display shelf or anything, is uh, not having to constantly put him on a. Uh, um, on stands and hope he doesn't fall over and yeah I can get a decent little kick out of him uh, you know without a stand it's kind of fun to try this out now <laughs> I pulled it off with Valver's fingers I'm like trying it with everything to see well can I pull it off or can I and yeah it's been kind of fun uh, you know again like the Cobra officer he just kind of kicks to the side though he doesn't really kick up at all I mean, I don't think I would ever have Deathlock joining into the Kumite, so I kind of can see why that would not be a necessity. Now, I kind of do remember this seri this storyline, and I do remember the art kind of falling apart at some point, and I can't remember exactly where. I just remember it was one of the, for a while, it was one of the examples of where I thought the art styles of modern comics were really dying. And I would I would compare it to John Byrne stuff, and I'd be like, "You gotta be kidding me! This is this is crap, <laughs> you know." And uh, gosh, there was one issue in particular. I was like, it looked like humanoid shapes, uh, not humans. So <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty hideous. So yeah, there we are with that. Uh, I'm glad this one doesn't look, you know, just like shades and shapes and you know nothing else uh smeared on a piece of paper i mean at least this one looks like a person so yeah deciding on a rating <laughs> um there's a few knocks i did fail to mention i do like that the uh hand is tailor-made for that um uh, shotgun but um it does impose some limitations on that hand. You can't dual wield or anything, which, eh, okay, fine. Um, but, you know, oof, there's just a few knocks. I mean, they're not many. Um, but the ones that are, are noticeable and kind of, you know, does make your logic circuits kind of go off. So, I'm just going to say, four stars, good figure. Good figure overall, but not the best in the world. Um, it is Deathlock, so I mean, you know, there's that going with it too. 
yeah, I think that'll be my rating is four stars. I like it, don't love it, don't hate it, but it's good. All right, that will wrap up this edition of Infinite Realms. Don't forget to like and subscribe.